Warning, do not enter the building or you will risk bodily harm. I bought this haunted Barbie doll. It was made in 2003 and the owner who sold it to me said that this thing is haunted and that you shouldn't open it. You should just keep it in the case. But you already know that I'm going to take it out of the case. It what? was, it was, oh. What the hell was that? You heard that? Yeah. Where do you think we should put this to get like the highest probability of a response? Something's moving. It might just be water. Ooh. Nah, that ain't water, bro. What the hell am I doing? I'm going back. We're on the roof of this abandoned hotel right now. All those climbing that ladder. I just finished climbing it. Look at this thing. This is the dome. Whoa, the so dome. Scary. Careful. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Aldo's World. Today we have a crazy adventure for you. We are sneaking in to this hotel and it was abandoned out of nowhere. Imagine this, imagine you are working at a hotel or you're living there and out of nowhere you are forced to evacuate in one day. This entire building including everyone that was living in it all got evacuated. And there was two stories. The first one was apparently the IRS told them hey y'all run out of money. No more money to pay the bills so you guys all have to leave even, immediately. It wasn't even it. They didn't run out of money. They didn't file their tax license. Oh! That was all it was. Apparently evading the IRS whatever. So that was the first story. But the second story, which I think is the real reason, there was contamination underneath the building and it is actually hazardous to enter the building because when we were reading the article to get inside, it said, warning, do not enter the building or you will risk bodily harm. That's a news article that we found. There's a chance we might pass out in there. Yeah, like this is really dangerous. So if you love adventure, if you love spooky, if you love uh, paranormal, then you're gonna enjoy this video because it's been abandoned for a while and we all know that abandoned places, the ghosts love them. So this is gonna be a crazy adventure, right? So I was thinking, if you end up passing out of there, is it okay if I give you mouth to mouth or you want Carlo to Oh, go? I would love to mouth to mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you guys stick around till the end of the video. This one is gonna be insane. Subscribe to my channel, turn the post notification bell until I upload more videos. You don't miss out. Also guys, go subscribe to Most RG. Link's down below. And go subscribe to Carlo. His link is gonna be down below. Also guys, so I bought this haunted Barbie doll. This Barbie was made in oh, Barbie doll was made in 2003 and the owner who sold it to me said that this thing is haunted and that you shouldn't open it. You should just keep it in the case. But you already know that I'm going to take it out of the case. If you guys remember from my other Barbie uh, Barbie doll video, it resembles the old Barbie. You guys remember the Lily? It looks exactly like her. It's very old and ancient. So, because this place is abandoned, I'm gonna take this Barbie doll inside of this abandoned place and I'm gonna bring out my ghost meter and we're gonna investigate to see if there is any paranormal inside here. The owner told me that this thing is literally haunted. So I'm gonna take this with me inside the haunted hotel and we're gonna play with this haunted Barbie doll inside of this haunted hotel. So stick around until the end of the video. This one is gonna be insane. All right, this is not like one of my other videos. You know, in the past I do like some skits and stuff like that for fun. And obviously those ones are just for entertainment. No, this is like, this is a real challenge. All right, this thing is haunted. We're going inside a haunted building. So this is not a skit. We're doing this for real. So stick around until the end. This one is gonna be insane. And here we go. All right, let's freaking do this. Whoa. Little adventure time. Here we go. Oh. Oh, That's open right there. Really? But behind, behind, was there no actual door? I, I think? haven't seen it. Okay, yeah, let's, not, let's not expose ourselves to the road yet. Let's go around, because we can still walk around. We can, because right up there, there's a pathway. It's blocked off. It's someone's property. Okay. So you have to come up this way. Right? Are you guys ready? Ready? And go. You're going to go in that crack in the wall? Go, 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 go. Security to see soon? Well, we're they're on the other side, like this. Literally sitting in that park. Carlo thinks he's gonna get into that little crack. <laughs> Alright, so we've looked around everywhere outside of the building. I think the only place to actually get in. Hold on, I think I know how we're gonna get in. Alright, alright. Ready for this? Whoa. Bro. What the heck? This place is spooky. Dude, this is crazy. So it looks like all the rooms still have everything inside. Yo, 
What's that sound? I think it's like a Is bird. water? <laughs> I don't know, something. I don't even know the layout. Some of these doors are locked. Alright, which way should we go? That's alright, let's go this way. Let's go this way. Okay, this is so scary. Let me turn my light off too. There's lots of poop in here. It could be the radiation. Maybe, yeah. Toxic. Hey, ghosts. Any ghosts in here? Man, Seth Carlo couldn't make it in. You can almost guarantee that there's something in here. Spirits love dirty, abandoned places. Oh, this is so cool. Look at this, guys. Oh. This is really Dude, cool. We're looking for a hotel all day today. We could have slept here. Dude, imagine like being a resident here and then out of nowhere you're told to evacuate within one day. At 6 a.m. Hey, everyone, well, get, get the one hell day. out. Like, now. One day, like, literally now. Get Immediately. Out. You have to back up all your stuff Seriously. and just get out. All those. Let's keep looking. Let's go deeper in. Right, I brought the ghost meter too, in case. So this looks like it went downstairs. I want to like, see most of the hotel, not really the rooms. The rooms are kind of like. You've been inside here before? No, but the hotel's really cool. Oh, okay. It's like a swimming pool. Oh, there's a weird baby crib here. What? Oh, that's freaking creepy, bro. Really? Yeah, it's alarm. How do you know? Because I can see it right there. Oh, shit. Well, that goes outside. Okay, we don't have to go here. This goes nowhere. Oh, can we open that for... But let's still check in the back. All right, all right, all right. I want to try and get to the main, like, uh, main entrance. Yeah, like, where is it? Okay. Looks like we're on the second floor of a hotel room. Oh, shit. See, you heard that? What you're hearing is the uh, the smoke de smoke detector. Oh yes, okay. But you heard a footstep too? Yeah, a loud bang. Okay, we gotta be careful. Somebody There's someone in here or something in here. Just try to keep our eyes peeled. By the way, guys, if you guys see anything, please keep your eyes peeled and comment down below the time. Before I take out the haunted Barbie doll, we just want to go ahead and explore everything first. See how haunted that doll really is. I want to see if the owner scammed me or if it is really haunted. He told me it was haunted. So. Oh my god. What the hell? What? This is so cool. What Look, the hell? That's, what? Where, that's where the swimming pool is. Oh, what the hell? That's a long time ago, everyone would be chilling here, having fun, having a great old time, and now it's abandoned. So, at least the smoke detectors work. So, the fire happened. They fire for. They make that noise when the batteries are dead. Oh. <laughs> I feel stupid. Okay, this is the way down. Man, kids really trash this place. Oh shit, The okay. soda machine, you trashed the soda machine too? Damn, everything's trash. I guess they really want their Coca-Cola. Whoa, dude, look at this. Is that a fake palm tree? No, that's real palm trees. The fact that they can grow them. That is wild. What the frick? So, we're gonna try to make it out to the pool area because apparently like, there's this really cool dome. Above it and the lobby apparently is That's this right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta make it down that way. Okay. Let's see how we can get down there. I guess maybe we can take that staircase down there. This is one of the coolest Whoa. events I've ever done in a little while. It sucks that Carlo couldn't make, make it in. He, uh, he gave up right away when he saw how to get in there. It wasn't easy. I'm gonna press the elevator. Well. Oh, there's no electricity. <laughs> Nothing happened. People have ravaged this place. Like copper thieves. You know, they've stolen wires. Rooms. You know what? This gives me an eerie vibe because this is, look how, like, this is still kind of new. Yeah. Like, this reminds me of when you're at a hotel. Now, every time somebody who's watching this is at a hotel, they're going to think of this. Yo, my ears just went numb for some reason. Like, there's a weird ringing in my ear. I don't know why. I'm not even scared. Yo. I just found a way down to the swimming pool. That smoke detector is like suddenly increasing in frequency. Is that normal? 
not really. It's like beeping faster than usual. Dude, I'm telling you, this place has got a weird vibe to it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's so freaking creepy. I love it though. It's such a cool adventure. Okay. You think this is the way to. Yeah, this is, here we are. Oh, I found the gym too. They got a gym too? You know what? I need a little workout myself. There's a gym down here. Well, we haven't been going to the gym recently, have we? I know, we've just been eating nothing but pizza. And just going on these adventures for you. Gym's down this way. Let's go get a quick pumping. Oh, this is nice, bro. I can lounge here. Just. There we go. What a beautiful little seat. I can see. I'm gonna go into the gym, guys. I think I need a little pump. What? What? It's on the balcony. What? What's up on the balcony? <gasps> Shit! It's a snowman. Wait. Oh! Do you know why there's a snowman here? Th this was. Remember when uh, we talked about this place was randomly abandoned right away? Yeah. This was actually abandoned in December. So, yeah. That's when everyone had to evacuate. That is crazy. They didn't even have time to get rid of the snowman. So, I think there's a on the dome? Oh! You think we can get that ladder? I would like to climb that ladder. It's a little dangerous, but... So that's what a pool looks like when it's empty. Nine foot. Damn. All right, I'm gonna go to the fitness center. Get a little workout in. All right, everyone. So welcome to my vacation. <laughs> I'm on vacation. I just gotta go to the gym. Oh, well. A little trouble before I go get my workout. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess a little extra cardio is fine. Ugh. Just want to get a good workout in after all. Oh my god. Ooh. What the hell? Is this a piano? What the? This is a piano. Oh my god. It still works. What the? Let's see if I can play something. Oh, guys, I think we're on something here. All right, check it out, everybody. Oh, Mo Sarji, how I love your adventures. When we met in the 24 hour challenges, oh, life was so sweet. I loved you ever since. And now we're on this adventure. After a few minutes of practicing, I actually got really good. Check it out. Okay, I lied. This is what I actually sound like. Thank you for coming to my show, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that show. Please uh, make sure you give us a like on Facebook and uh, leave us a review. All right, guys. I don't know what happened there. I just randomly found a piano. Got the bitter out of me. Wait, what the hell is that sound? That one there? What the fuck? What the hell? It sounds like someone's moving. That one there? Oh, there's a mode down there, guys. All right, now we're in the gym. Let's see if I can do a little workout. You know, I actually have to be careful because the equipment can actually kill you if you don't use it properly and safely. And this would be the prime example of not using gym equipment safely because it's literally broken. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna try to be careful here, but let's see what we can do. Oh, this thing still works. What the hell? No way. What the hell? I can definitely stand on this. That's probably still safe. Oh, fuck off, bug. This is probably safe to still walk on. La. Oh, yo, it's literally plugged in. What the hell? It still works. Guys, look at this. It's fucking, it's plugged in. Oh my God, yo, this thing works. Yo, it's still turned on. Look at this. Yeah, look, it's still, it's still. It says, press enter your weight. Well, that's rude. 
They're asking me what, what my what my weight is. How rude. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know, pretty boy? I'm gonna put my weight. Anyways, let's see what else we got here. Those machines, I'm not gonna touch because I do usually do this when I go to the gym. But you could actually, I could actually kill myself here. All right. So these definitely work. They're just kind of dangerous, so I gotta be careful here. So the gym is kind of cool, but uh, I got my workout in. I feel like I'm pretty happy now. We had a lot of pizza. Yeah, that's it. No way, that is so creepy. Yeah, I did you a whole love song. I heard it. I loved it, it was actually pretty good. Thank you. Hey, but um, fitness closes at 11 p.m., so you gotta get out. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll get out of the gym now. All right, for everyone who owns a piano, I'm sorry, but it's the only way out. Oh. This boy over here brought a haunted doll with him. Yeah, I brought a haunted Barbie doll. We went to a vintage store and the owner said it's really haunted. Do not, whatever you do, take it out of the case. But obviously we're gonna take it out of the case. And he also said don't play with candles with it and don't bring it near a Ouija board. And he said just don't do anything with it. Just lock it up in a box somewhere. He actually, I wish I showed them when I bought it. It was actually locked up. He had to unlock the, yeah, the case, that. open it and everything. He said it's more of like something you just keep. Remember, you know that Annabelle doll in the occult museum? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that, it's like the locked up, you do not take it out. But obviously we're gonna take it out. So he's yeah, we're gonna we're gonna communicate with some spirits with that doll later on. Like I said, we're giving you guys a band and this was a restaurant by the way. This is actually really pretty. Like look at the lights. You can just imagine like sitting down. Very Yeah. Oh you got a gazebo in here, dude. I'm starting to feel a little tickle in my tummy. What? Look at the blade in the wall. What the hell? There's a freaking saw blade in the wall. That doesn't look like it belongs there. Two of them. How does that even get in there? Yo, is it Meredith? It literally not look like it should be there. No, that should definitely not be there. It's not like it's standing up in this place. What the f- How the heck did that get up there? He was over there and someone chased someone and killed them with that thing. Yeah, there's probably some freaking Freddy Krueger thing going on here. We got a ballroom, we got a restaurant lounge, indoor pool area, but there's a ballroom. Yeah, I gotta see the ballroom. Oh, let's go dance. Is anyone there? Yeah, maybe. He did say not to bring it anywhere. Is anyone here? Yeah, I know I saw it the other day. Guys, look at this Barbie doll. It's like a haunted Barbie doll. You can tell it's so old and vintage too. Look at this, it literally says Barbie on the back, 2003. Damn, it's this is, old school Barbie. It's the real deal. Hmm. So have we decided on what we want to eat today? Yes sir, I'd like your um, mushroom pizza. And Sorry, we're all full of that. That's fine. Mm -hmm. The calamari looks quite tasty. We're full out of that too. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> So we got the uh, the mussels uh, with the white wine sauce. Yeah, the white wine mussels. Yeah, we're sold out of that too. Mm -hmm. You gotta be kidding! What the hell do you guys have here? Uh, we have um, Coke, Coke, Fanta, Fanta, and we have chips. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have the pizza as well. The pizza, yes. I will get your margarita pizza, please. So we have the pizza, but no the, no margarita. Sorry. P pizza with no. Oh, okay, that's fine. I'll just I'll just get the pizza. Sorry, I just. I, I, oh. Yeah, the chef just told me there's no more pizza. You gotta be fucking kidding me with this pizza! Wait, right, you're actually gonna take it out? I'm gonna take it out, man, because the guy told me it's haunted. Do not ever take it out of the box, right? Yeah, so I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm ready to see it. Should we put it in the... Like, are you just gonna whip it out, or are you gonna, like... Let's That's take it out. Let's take out the glow meter too. Oh, it? you're talking about the Barbie doll. Yeah, the Barbie doll. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my mouth was. Guys, just grabbing my OnlyFans for that. I don't have one, by the way. So just. We're well, about to whip out the. Let's Barbie just put it right here. Which is something you 
shouldn't do. Yeah, definitely not. I'm just gonna put this right here. Let's open here. Can you hold this for one second? Yeah, sure. I got it. I got two cameras and one hand. Let's go. Alright, open out of the box. Let's do this. Ooh. So, did you actually know, fun fact, that Barbie was plagiarized for. What was that? You hear that? I just heard, like a bang. Okay, I know, look, as I was saying, I did hear that. Barbie was plagiarized from a doll named Lily. It was actually a German doll in the early 1900s, and it was made for adults. Anyways, fun fact, it looks exactly like it. I'm just gonna put it right here. Let's ask you some questions. I can't believe I just took it. Can't believe I just took it out, okay. Yo, whoa, I'm gonna just kind of sketch that out for that dang that we heard first. Also guys, I got my ghost meter too. Let's see, I'm gonna turn it on. All right. All right, let's do it. Let's ask it, um, is your real name Lily? Okay, nothing's happening. Um, here, it's your turn to ask you something. Are you actually haunted? Like, is there anything connected to you? Here's the thing. Objects are haunted. They yeah. can be haunted, they can be possessed. Mm -hmm. I have my own TV show on Hulu called Repossessed. You guys can watch it now. It's all about haunted objects and how spirits and demons can manifest themselves into objects. It's very so, possible. So you've had experiences where like, can you tell us a story about an object that you saw on your show? Okay. Was so we had an occult necklace, some dude that's okay. a, a legit devil worshiper. Like okay. He showed up on the show, he's like, I worship Satan, I love Satan, blah, blah, blah. That's what he was saying. Okay. So he brought this occult necklace. It was an actual necklace that had Satan on it. Okay. He wanted to charge it with negative energy okay. to make it stronger, give him powers. I'm not even joking. What? what? This guy was saying, and I was like, what the heck? He like charges, on? Yeah. what the, okay. The worst part is me being religious, I'm Muslim and stuff, you know, okay. Satan, he doesn't like religion. He gave that necklace to me. I wore my gloves because I don't want to touch it by hand. When that happened to me on my show, I literally collapsed. I fainted as soon as I touched it. You fainted? I fainted. It what? was, it was, oh. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? You heard that? Yeah. That was like all around us. What the f was that? What the hell was that? Is anyone there? You see my ghost meter? Is your ghost meter going off? No, I just... So from this point on, things started to get really weird. I'm not gonna lie. Hello? Dude, it literally sounded like there was something. Oh, what the? Oh, oh what, the, what the hell was that? Grab your fucking dog, bro. No, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, put him out of the box. Oh my god, this was a bad idea. Uh, okay, little doll. You go right back in here. Oh my god, oh my god. Back in you go. You know what? I'm gonna go return it to the guy because. Oh, wait, oh. Let's back inside. Okay, bro, it's too complicated. Okay, I put it. We just took it out. Things started happening. We have something around us that freaked me out. We have something down there. This is this is legit. This is freaking legit. Carlo, if you honestly, he missed out. He wanted to come here, and I didn't want to come here. This is one of the coolest. Like I've never seen a bad place that actually doesn't even look like. Like if you don't look anywhere here, look. Barely even looks the bad. Look the lights. Well, like Carlo literally begged me to come here because we were going. To away from here. Mm -hmm. Carl's like, please, please bring me here. I want to film it. But he couldn't get in. I guess he couldn't make it. Yeah, so, uh, fortunately had to stay back. So what do you think, what do you think we should put this to get like the highest probability of a response? Am I, am I going crazy? Did we just hear that? I heard that too. We heard a piano, right? What the? That's the same piano I was playing before. Unless there's another piano somewhere else, but that came from. No, no, I don't. I only see one piano. Is Carlo, anyone here? Carlo, are you in here? We, we would have. He would have told us. When I heard that piano, my heart literally dropped. Like that was probably the freakiest thing I've ever heard. No, Carlo, he couldn't even make it in here. What if like, an animal walked on it? Maybe. It's possible. Is there like a raccoon? Seriously, that was weird. Hey, what if it's Was that you? Give us a sign that it was a spirit connected to the doll. Do it again. Oh. Something's here, something's there. It might actually be an animal. Let's check real quick. That's why I ran over. I wanted to see if it was an animal or Carlo. 
Dude, look at this banana tree. This is a cool banana tree. I th actually thought it was a palm tree, I didn't know. But where the heck did that sound come from? I heard something coming up from up here. Bro, that piano going off is very creepy. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't see another piano anywhere. The other side, the other side over here, top of the piano over here. Is anyone here? I don't see any pianos then. Nah, Carl's not here. Let's FaceTime him? Let's FaceTime him. Yeah, let's see. Oh yeah, good, 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 good point. That way... That way we'll know where the fuck We know he's not pranking us. Yeah, like that could have been him the whole time. Hold on. Calling Carlo available. on FaceTime at 3 a.m. So I'm calling Carlo. He's not answering. That's weird. Answer the damn phone. Are you? Yo. Where are you? What? Where are you? I'm at Lowe's. Okay, at well, Lowe's. FaceTime me. I want proof that you're at Lowe's. Huh? FaceTime me. Um, huh? Switch to I'm video I'm going call. in to go to the bathroom. Hold on. Quick, quick. Switch to video call quickly. For a second, while we were calling Carlo, I just kind of wished he would just pick up and just say that, like, yeah, I, that was me. I'm inside the hotel and that was me. I was just hoping he would answer and he would say it was him, but unfortunately I was wrong. Where the fuck did you do that? Bro, we heard this piano and... Bro, are you, Hold in, on, the video. Are you in the building? Okay, here you go. Oh, so you weren't in the building? What the hell? He's Hold not on, let cool. me turn this shit. Bro, he's literally at I'm Lowe's. Right now. Bro, you're at Lowe's. Okay, so you're what? not in the building then. No, no, clearly okay. not. No, so no. something. There's a piano in here, and something started playing the piano, and we thought it was you. So what? There's a piano, and somebody started playing the piano, and we thought it was you. For real? Yeah. So it wasn't you. It was probably this freaking doll right okay, here. Okay. Bye. Have fun at Lowe's. Thank oh, you. Bye. Okay. That's all. It was the Barbie doll. What the? So the guy wasn't lying. This shit. This thing is haunted. Objects can be haunted. Like yeah. People don't understand. Yeah. People don't believe this shit. Like they, people, this chair can be haunted. Bro. I think some people actually like. I actually believe it because, like, you know, I've heard of stories of a teddy bear like moving and stuff like that. Yeah. Like that's basically like your show, right? The clown room. Crowd room. Oh. We used to host events and stuff in here. Oh. Whoa. This is where everyone gathers around. And you smell that? That's the chemical. Oh, yo, yo, close the door, close the door. So Bro, oh, there was a warning. There was a warning about chemicals. Are we gonna get sick? I don't know about I did sign up for getting sick. Much time, we'll okay, okay, fair enough, yeah. What the hell is this? Oh, oh my god. What the hell is that on the door? Maybe that's the thing that ran on the piano. It looks <laughs> like a, an animal. <laughs> it looks like a, is that a squirrel? Okay, before we get close to it, I want you to guess. What do you think it is? I think it's a fox. Okay, yeah, it doesn't look like a squirrel. Let's go check it out. What's, what's, up with that what's my guess? I don't know. Yeah, maybe like a fox or wolf or something. Oh, I just stepped on something wet. Yeah. It's a fox. Right? Yeah, you were right. Whoa. Oh, wait, that's a fake. That's a wolf. That's a fake door. No, that's a real door. No, like, like. The thing, the the rod. Yeah. I thought that was the real rod. No, no, it's missing. Somebody broke. Look, it's right here to your left on the ground. Oh shit! Yeah, it's right there. Okay. Can we still open it? Oh, don't open it. Oh my god! Look at that footstep. Is that yours? Yeah, I just stepped on that. Ew, bro! You're gonna need to change, buy new shoes, dude. The hell? That's disgusting, man. Let's see. What do you think is the coolest part of a hotel? that everyone watching would love to just sneak into but they can't do because it's active the let's go there that it's been mostly this swimming pool okay that's true right. or the ballroom let's see the ballroom yeah or like i want to see if there's a management office room or something okay so we're we should have a lot of the hotel not too much rooms because we're going to be repetitive yeah unless there's like a dead body can you smell that it smells so bad what is that it's like a chemical smell weird Oh, dude, look at the lobby. That's so cool. Oh, yo, maybe there's another piano here. Yeah, Let's look. That, that is very possible. But even if there's another piano here, that would make even less sense. Because Carl... Oh, yo, what the hell? Is it raining on that? I heard somebody moving. Wait, where did it come from? This way. Watch out. It looks like the ceiling is dripping. Oh, dude, look at this lobby. Oh, my God. This is dangerous, bro. Watch out. The ceiling can fall. Here we go. What the fuck?
I don't think so either. Yo, yo, watch your step, eh? The ceilings are collapsing. Hey, you want some coffee? There's a coffee machine. Like, literally, <laughs> Did you just say you want a coffee? Yeah. Wow. This is like one of those traps. Ooh, beautiful coffee. You just gotta go through the death trap to get there. Mo, would you like a coffee? Go ahead. Uh, I don't wanna walk <laughs> this is like a mouse trap for Mo. I don't wanna walk through that mushy <laughs> shit. <laughs> this is like a mouse trap for Mo. Coffee right there. Uh, let's keep going, let's keep going. Yeah, let's keep freaking going. Oh, they are. What the? Oh, I dare you to step in one. No, bro, are you serious? Yeah. Hold on, before I step in, let me put something with weight. This is kind of heavy. What? I'm just gonna use this to test it, you know? The weight? Okay. I think it'll be good. Dude, I'm too scared. Be careful. It's dangerous. Do it. I'm not gonna do it. Because yeah, it actually is risky. Yeah. If you die, like you're dead. That thing falls your toes. Yeah, all it takes is one mistake. You know? Okay. Scared to go into them? Check it out. But it's a good price, right? You yeah. Know, five cents a night? Ten out of ten price, honestly. Yeah, I mean, they even offered it to us for free, so you can't take this. Like, we thought this is like the normal chill spot. The ballroom. Like a lobby. There's a ball ball. Oh, so that's where all the love happens. No, not love, but like the balls. The ballrooms is where they have the balls, like the ball pit. Oh, yeah. no, there's no ball pit. Yeah, well, it's called a ballroom, no? No, a ballroom is like, if you remember like from the Titanic, where right? everyone goes and dances. Oh, I yeah. Thought that was the ball room. No. <laughs> silly me. <laughs> Come on, Mo. I'm just joking. I'm you know what would go perfect in the ballroom? Kaleidoscope restaurant. That's the restaurant, not the ballroom. You know what would go perfect in the ballroom? What? This. She's even wearing the dress oh for it. Oh god, you have to She literally has a- This is a ballroom dress, actually. I don't want to open that box up there. I don't want to either, but look. It's just meant to be- I'm just gonna leave it here. That's it. Guys, don't- Guys, don't tell Mo. I'm gonna take Barbie out of the doll. It's probably gonna activate something, because this is literally the ballroom. But- Alright, all right, Barbie. Whatever the hell's in here, be free. Hey, Barbie. Be free. Hey, Mo! Uh, never mind. Actually, I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> All right, everyone. So I just took Barbie out of the little casing. So if something happens, that's probably why. But I'm not gonna tell them. Yeah. Oh, yo, yo, this thing just. Yo, this thing just went red for a second. Huh? This thing just went, 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 went. Oh, went. The about to die. What the frick? This thing really just went red. Oh, what the hell? Yo, look at the chandelier! Oh, what the fuck? It's moving! No way. Bro, the chandelier is literally moving! My battery's about to die, dude. My battery's turning red right what now. What the? No way! Bro, how's that moving? I've been, I've been, uh, filming non-stop. There's no cuts, dude. It's spinning, it's spinning in a certain way now. What the? Yo! It's changing form. It's literally moving! Dude, you, took, you took it out of the box? Yeah, I took it out of the box. That's why it's moving. How? What the hell? Yo! That one's moving too! That one's moving too! Holy, what the? What the hell? How is this possible? Well, I took, it out, I took it out of the doll, right? Put that thing back in the damn box right now. Are you I'm sure? My my right now. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna put it back in the doll. In the box, I mean. My camera battery turned red. Like, we haven't been in here that long. For my brand new battery to, to let it die. And guys, I literally walked right by this thing, uncut, unedited. I got a flashlight in hand and I got my camera in hand. And then that one is moving by itself now. Yeah. That's so freaking creepy. Let's go in the kitchen. Okay, you put go. it back in the box? Yeah, no, actually I didn't. It's still sitting there? Yeah, it's all... Why would you do that? Okay, let's go in the kitchen. Let's just go in the kitchen first. Like, what's the worst that's gonna happen? Oh, I'll do it in a bit. Do you see the chandeliers? Employees only. Okay, we can't come in, bro. Oh, shit. Well, <laughs> I, I, I identify as an employee. Yo, yo, yo! What? It's what? not a spirit, but like... Remember how we told everyone there was an evacuation? Yeah, there it is. And it says right there. Like, we weren't lying. Oh. It says evacuation checklist. Guys, this is actually insane. We found the evacuation plan. And as you guys can see, it was all in the exact same day. Like, you guys need to get the hell out right now. Let's see what their plan was. Team four, captain will pick up the checklist. Checklist. All team four managers will meet. The team four captain will coordinate the evacuation of guests and employees. Bro, from the restaurant too. Imagine you're having a freaking meal at the restaurant and some guy says, Hey, sir, you need to evacuate immediately. Like, what? 
all guests are directed out with the main team for captain will coordinate the evacuation of all team members from the employee entrance all team members are to proceed to the lower parking garage Kaleidoscope oh. cocktails, perfect patron margarita, cosmopolitan, mm. old fashioned, traditional Manhattan. Oh, what else have I got? So, this is the real menu. Oh, this is like the uh, drink menu. Oh. What the hell was that? Something's in there. Yeah. You heard that? Hello? Who's there? We heard you just come out. We know you're in there. Yeah, someone's moving in there. Just come out. Oh, this is scary. Where are you hiding? This is hella creepy. Stop on me, stop on me. Okay. Literally, something's moving. It might just be water. Oh! Nah, that ain't water, bro. That ain't water. What the hell? Hey, if you're if you're an explorer too, we're exploring too, so we can just be friends. I know I had a bad vibe coming here when I came to the kitchen from the other side. Yeah. I felt like something. Was Wait, dude, what the hell is that? Isn't that the thing at the airport security? No, that's a dishwasher. Oh. Be hey, careful. Very. Wow. 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 You gotta be careful because yeah. this place has spirits in it and that is how you can get hurt. Spirits because of the damn hall. You, you look at spirits in there. Oh yeah, well, I said I was going to put the doll back, but I just, you know. Dude, I feel like, like a madman with like a knife is just gonna come out of Oh my god, please don't say that. Well, if he does, there's two of us, and we have weapons on the floor, so we could pick one up easily. Hey, I don't know about you, but I'm a big fan of tongs. Oh, I actually need some tongs for my barbecue at home. Oh, these are brand new. Oh. Right, let's make some stir fry. But no, no joke though, I love tongs. Hey, Mo. I love tongs. Tongs are really cool. Uh, tongs are my favorite. Yeah? Yeah. On guard! Oh, you want to have a duel? Let's have a duel. Hey. Mm, 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 mm. Ah. <laughs> Woohoo! I win the duel! Yeah! Let's go! Oh, what? <laughs> Mamma mia! Okay, um, all jokes aside though, there was a sound here. Ow. Ew, what the hell? It's like spiders. Like realistically, if you wanted to get out of here, it'd be hard. It's the only way out. Really? Oh, yeah. We can open the garage. This is the only way out? Alright, just gotta use our manpower to get out. Wait, 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 hold on. If you open it, is the alarm gonna go off? No, there's no alarm. LS for the broken one. Looks like they're... Oh, they broke them all off. They're both broken. They broke the chains. Well, there's power here, right? So I just put it open. No, that didn't work. Yeah, this would have been real nice. Alright, well. Maybe I should get that doll back. Oh, ew, watch this up. No, th I think this is where they do presentations. Like, here's how it would go. Gather around, everyone. You are here to sign up to my pyramid scheme. That's right. If you and all your friends, if you bring just three of your friends, if you bring just three of your friends, and get them to sign up, you can drive a Mercedes Benz. That's right. All starts as you just gotta invite your friends and you have to pay $700 bonus fee to join. And, uh, but don't worry, we'll uh, get about it later. 
but have a seat. Why don't you sign up? Yeah, you're gonna make some money. Yeah, but you gotta be bring three friends and they gotta join. And then pyramid schemes. No one likes them. Anyways. Mo, this guy just dishes me all the time. Oh no no, it's okay. Oh, oh yeah, this actually was the ballroom, definitely. Yeah, there's a chandelier up there. So yeah, oh that's a nice chandelier. Well, what the hell is that? Mo, hello, Mo. Mo, I, I know you're here, bro. Trump. I heard a bang. Where are you? Huh? I heard a bang. That wasn't me. Come on, yeah, it was. Huh? That wasn't you? I thought it was you. What do you mean you heard a bang? For real? Yeah. Actually, that was me. Dude, this is the wall right here. Yeah, yeah, because of the chandeliers, too. Maybe this is where I had that. Oh, it's a parking garage. Yeah, let's just go to the parking garage. Yeah, that's true. Dude, I feel like we're lost. No, and I doubt we can get out to that way. Yeah. That's a good way to explain it. We can only go up. I mean, it says garage. I don't know if you just go out to the garage. Oh, oh, what? what? Somebody's late. Really? Somebody over there. Maybe it's security. Okay, let's get, let's get out of here. Ew, I don't want to get a ticket. I just seen someone's flashlight. Bro, I don't want to get a ticket. Let's oh, get out of here. That was mine. Guys, Mo was, Mo was saying he saw a flashlight down there. So we're going to go investigate because we do not want to get a ticket. Yeah, there's security in there, but I'd actually be happy because they can have to find a way out. <laughs> okay, you guys saved us. Yeah, it's fine. We'll take our ticket. Give us a check in the front. I'll just get out of here. I saw the flashlight coming from in here. But now there's no one here. That is fucking wrong. Hey, what's that machine? I mean, whatever. Who cares? But like, huh? there's like a big machine right there. What is that? See that? Oh, that's a scaffold. Why is there a scaffold here? That's an expensive, that's a, dude, I rented one of those for a thousand dollars a day. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, like, it's expensive. Why is it just here? They left a scaffold machine in here. This machine costs a lot of money. I rented one of these recently to change the light bulbs on the chandelier. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. And it cost me like a thousand dollars a day. Doesn't look broken. And the battery's still here too. You think they just evacuated that badly? Dude, the batteries are still here. Get out now, leave it behind, go. The key's missing. Yeah, this is an expensive piece of machinery. Hmm. Must be hiding something here. <laughs> Let's get out. Well, where's the maintenance center? Right? Mm, maintenance? What do you mean maintenance? Should I get out of the elevator? The maintenance room? Yeah. You might find a ladder in there. Oh, right. You know what I mean? Because they do have a lot of stuff here. Yeah. We could. That's very. Very true, let's see if we can find a ladder. Yeah, the ladder's on like on maintenance floors. So let's, let's go upstairs back where we're from. Guys, so awkward story. We're kind of stuck in here. We're trying to find a way out. <laughs> we got in, we didn't think about how we're going to get out. That looks like a... No, that's not a ladder. There's got to be a ladder here somewhere though. There's gotta be a ladder of some sort. This has been a crazy adventure. I don't blame Carlos for not being able to get in here. Yeah. It took a lot of adventure for us to get in here. Let's just see that. What? Yeah. Yeah. Scale down. We could, yeah, worst case. So if this doesn't work, then we'll do that. Alright. Hey, here's a ladder. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're not carrying that. Don't want 
I don't know about left. We kind of like lost it, to be honest. I think we just left it on purpose. Where'd the snowman go? There was a snowman here. It's gone. There was. Where the hell is it? Look, where'd the snowman go? Wait. It was on that balcony. Is that it tipped over? No. There's no snowman right there. It was on that balcony. I don't see it. But we, I see something like right down like that, there. That's a mini snowman. But there a mini a, snowman. Yeah, there was a massive one and now it's gone. That is weird. Someone's definitely... But how could... No, no, but no one's here. Let's get that idea out of our head. Because no it, it's impossible to get in here. Like the way we got in here was a one-way option. So we might, we're going to try another way. Oh, there might be a way here. We need to find a ladder. Some fort, some sort. La la la. La la. Hey, is this, oh, looks, okay. is this an exit? We could jump down onto this and like jump into the tree. Looks like someone designed this for jumping out of. Yeah, that was scary. Can I see? Like, is this gonna hold our weight? Take a look. Oh. Actually, yeah. I'd love to lift it. Go. I found a ladder, but. Let's see where that goes. <laughs> it's attached to a wall. We've been trying off camera to get out of here. Is there glass? Oh, you don't have gloves. Watch out. There's glass. You usually have gloves. I wish we could take this ladder and put it on the side of the building. I know, right? Cool. But definitely worth coming up here. La, la, la. Climbing up the ladder, nice and safely. <sighs> All right. Yeah. Oh, pardon. Hey, found another ladder. Yeah. Nice. Wow, this is cool from up here. Holy crap, guys! It's right at the top. This feels like one of those, uh, Night at the Museum. You ever watch Night at the Museum? Yeah, it does feel like Night at the Museum. Holy <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is scary, man. This is dangerous. Oh, this is like, if you want, I can hold you. Oh, never mind. No, no, man. I can come without, but dude, I don't know, like, like, it, this is aluminum frame. This is strong as hell. But. It's kind of wobbly, though. The ladder is wobbly. Why and is the ladder wobbly? It rotates around. Oh. You know why they did that? Why? So they can clean the glass. Hmm. Over time, they you think it's safe to climb this or not? Oh, oh, just water. Yeah, look at this. Holy crap, it's kind of scary. What the? Should I climb to the top? Oh my god, this is scary. Whoa, this is so scary. Careful. Yo. I'm king of the castle. You fall in. If I fall in, I'm literally dead. Instant death. Oh my god. Bro, that wheel is not even on the thing probably because it's bent. Look at that guy, the wheel is off. What the hell am I doing? I'm going back. We're on the roof of this abandoned hotel right now. All those climbing that ladder. I just finished climbing it. Look at this thing. This is the dome. Whoa, the so dome. Scary. Careful. Yo. What the? The wheel is not even on properly. This whole ladder can fall. Oh, I don't want to die. I'm scared now. Oh my god, the, the the wheel is like not even on properly. When I got, got up there, I realized one of the wheels was not even on the thing. <laughs> on the track? Yeah, it's not even on the track. It's hanging off. Oh no. The good thing I didn't go all the way to the top. That's too, too dangerous. Okay, so there's no way to get out from here. Should we climb another ladder? Yo, also watch your step Should because... Should we climb another ladder? 
<laughs> oh yeah, it's doing well. Let's do another one. Watch your step. The ceiling, remember downstairs, was caved in. Oh shit! Yeah. Fuck. Now that you say that. Like you can feel it. Yeah, we can just jump in the third floor if you want. I'm just gonna walk on these pipes. Let's jump to the third floor. Whoa! This is yeah, look, extremely look. dangerous. This is like extreme lazy parkour. This is super dangerous. What do you mean? Dangerous. <laughs> dangerous is my middle name. <sighs> Here, hold my camera for a second. I laugh in the face of danger. Ha 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 ha! Why go why go down the ladder when you can just go through here? Do you know where that's from? You laugh in the face of danger? Yeah. Whoa, it's clean up here. It's from Lion King. Oh, is it? Yeah. This is like an old school Mosargi adventure. Yeah. Like, this is how I used to do it back in the day. Before all these big channels on YouTube started being like Hollywood and overproducing videos and it ruined our content. Like, it's okay, we're gonna bring it back for them. YouTube is about like having a camera in your hand, running and gunning, you know. Don't <laughs> <laughs> make just videos of yourself. But like all these big channels, like massive channels, are like having these million dollar budgets for videos. And I feel like it's kind of destroyed what YouTube is. It is. What, what is YouTube supposed to be in your mind? It's supposed to be a guy with his camera, that's it. Yeah. Not like amateur. 20 team produ production team. And yeah, like that's not YouTube. That's TV. Yeah, and it just sucks. It kind of just ruined the essence of YouTube. Which is why we're forced to sometimes clickbait the hell out of certain videos. But I deliver on clickbaits, motherfuckers. I don't just clickbait. When I clickbait, I deliver on it. Okay? I don't, I don't say there's going to be a freaking demon in the video and there's no demon in it. Yeah. Okay? If only they knew the hundreds hey, hey, hey. of- Who the fuck just closed that door? Oh, that was me. Oh, yeah, yeah that was I me, that was me. Oh, yeah. I no, that was me. There's gotta be a ladder up here somewhere that we can use. <laughs> oh, escaping hotel. Nothing in here. Yeah, we need to find a way out of here. Oh, I still gotta film that oh we're on the third floor. Yeah, let's go down one. I'm gonna Let me go a second, yeah. I gotta give you the car Damn, what the hell? Guys, we're trying to find the way out, but we're literally lost. We've been in every side, every row. Please. Shit. Women's locker room. Employees only. <laughs> Breaking all the rules. Oh my god. What the? That's all the coffee. Hey Carly, you want a root beer? Hey guys, look at this. We just found a whole closet full of drinks. Coffee. Please tell me there's Doritos here. Cokes. No, it's just it's just drinks. Are they expired? Decaffeinated? I don't know. Wasn't abandoned a while ago. Check, check. Three years? I mean does coffee it does coke expire? It says they're on the dix it'll say the expiration date on it. Look at this, there's literally coffee and coke and stuff everywhere. <laughs> you check it, check it. I mean, even if it was, I wouldn't take it. Like, I'm just curious. It's so much cooler if you find something that's still not expired. Let's see this. It says here. Hmm. It doesn't say. It doesn't even say what the expiry date. It's probably in the box. But. Oh, February 32. Hmm. Yeah, I, I can't tell. Dude, all the food is here. This smells like the kitchen. Sauces, the food. Oh, man. What the heck? So it's no joke, they just had to actually abandon it and leave behind all the stuff that could have been donated to the homeless. Damn, that's so sad. Why would they just abandon this? There's so much food here. Hey, if you're homeless and you're watching this, there's a bunch of food in here. Um, 
I don't know. Let me check the expired date for you, my yeah, friend. They're, they're done. I mean, the canned beans are probably still good. Yeah. They last forever. Let's see. Wow. Just need to find an expired date. I've never seen this in an abandoned place before. No expired date. It's got to be on the box. It's right there. Oh, you see it? 2018. Oh, that's expired. Bro, this place went to... Oh. <laughs> it closed out in 2020, so you guys were selling you expired food. What? What? No way. <laughs> what <laughs> the hell? They're selling expired food. Yeah, the next team, we got pasta. Exposed. Are you serious? Pasta over here. It's really couscous. Man, we got syrup. Is that Aunt Jemima syrup? No. No, that's barbecue sauce. Ch check the, check the uh, Quaker oats right there. Quaker oats, where? Right there, check Ooh. when the uh, expiry day is on those. Quaker oats expiry would be it? on November 13th. <laughs> it doesn't say. Hmm. 20. 2020? 2020. Best before 13, 20. So everything here is expiring, they were selling it. This one's good till January 22nd, 2021. Okay, so that's the only thing that didn't expire. The Pancake time. syrup. What? Wow. So that's what it looks like in the back of a hotel. Eat. Damn. I've never seen there's another room next door. There might be more. Oh look there. at the pancake box. Pancake mix. What? Now you know how you get your food in hotels. <laughs> Expired food most likely. Expired food. Yeah, look taco shells over there. Oh, ew, never They're mind. They're still in their bags. Ew. That's the local taco. Taco make me local. Alright, this doesn't seem like the way out. I know, but this is the kitchen. Oh, right, right. Yeah, so this is our way out. We made this little concoction. And we're gonna use it. To hopefully got our way out of this window pray for us guys also look how far that drop is yeah so that's our way out so here we go are you ready yeah oh my god dude <laughs> bruh Should you decide not to use it, you know. Alright. Here we go. Don't rely on my knots too much, okay? Alright. Come on, get out of my seat. Yeah, be careful. Oh. Be very careful. I guess I didn't need it. You, yeah, you still gotta grab onto it. Well, most RG's engineering is top class. Whoa, oh, whoa. Careful, careful, careful. All right, we made it. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I hear a car, I hear a car. Okay, let's go, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, it's this way. Wait. Oh, it's car. me. All right, everyone, that wraps up that adventure. I hope you enjoyed that abandoned, haunted, and paranormal adventure all in one. We took that Barbie doll inside. That thing is definitely haunted. It's a crazy adventure. I really enjoy it when we go on these adventures. I know I like to make skits for you sometimes. Uh, you know, do these little make-believe skits just to make you guys have a good day. At the end of the day, I do those videos for the kids because the kids need love too, right? Everyone hates on the kids like, oh, this shit ain't real, blah, blah, blah. Come on, of course. It's for entertainment, right? I make those videos for entertainment, those skits, because the kids need love too, right? I like to bridge fantasy and imagination in one. That's why I do those videos. But I also really enjoy going out in the field, going into the real world, and uh, doing these challenges. Uh, because sometimes they're dangerous, sometimes there's a thrill, but it's always an adventure. So I hope you enjoyed it. I really want to do more of these adventure type videos instead of those skits. Because uh, they were fun, but I'm kind of over it. I want to do more of these adventure type videos, more exploration videos, more haunted and paranormal stuff because, you know, the other stuff is fun, but this is, this is the real deal. So I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe, turn, my po turn the post notification bell on so when I upload more videos, you don't miss out. All right, you're not going to want to miss out. In the next couple of videos, we went to a haunted house that had the real Annabelle doll. And let me tell you something, there was a girl she was with us and she was sitting down and the animal doll it was not looking at her at all it was facing she the was other way moving. and as soon as she sat yeah, down she, she asked the question the, like hey the what is your name to like the spirit the in the moving. room the animal doll moving. turned like this and just stared at her and it didn't move for the next 30 minutes while we were investigating 
it was a creepiest thing you gotta watch it all right you need to see it all right so when i upload that video go check it out go subscribe to mo go subscribe to carlo their links are gonna be in the description down below i'll see you in the next one